how I style my bangs. I'm just taking my straightener and I'm heating it up until 370 degrees Fahrenheit. I know that it's like really hot, but the hotter the better honestly for me. And then I'm just taking my bangs and putting them all in like in a one big pile. And then taking out pieces that don't belong in my bangs. And then I'm just basically running it through my straightener, straightening it until I get to the tips. And then, then I curl it. I curl it going like inwards and then it looks crazy i know but then i brush it out um this is a conair uh, hair brush i love it so much and i got this from giant and then here i'm just brushing it until it's perfect hairstyle number one For the first hairstyle, you want to start off by brushing your hair. Until it's smooth and tangled free. I was just doing a little dance because I was listening to music um, while I was filming this. And then here's the final results. It's super easy, super fast, and super quick. This literally took like a minute. Hairstyle number two. This hairstyle is half up, half down. So start by grinding my half of your hair and like so, um, and just brushing it out with your fingers. You can use a brush, but if you're at school or anywhere and you don't have a brush, you can use your fingers by combing it out. This one's super easy as well. You're just tying it half up, half down. Um, it's a half up, half down ponytail. So it's one of my best ones and super easy too. It literally takes like a minute to do in the morning. By the way, you can tie it off with this scrunchie or a hair elastic. I like scrunchies personally, so I'm using scrunchie. Hairstyle number three. Now this one is kind of like the same thing as hairstyle number two, but instead of a ponytail, is a messy bun, and you want to go in one and then tie it off, and then kind of make like a croissant shape, and then pull it out, and then mess with it until you're happy with the final results. Hairstyle number four. You want to go ahead and brush out your hair because my hair looks absolute crazy, um, as you saw. <laughs> Split your hair into two sections. I'm going th from the back. It's just easier that way. And then go ahead and tie up half your hair um, with a scrunchie or a hair elastic. And you want to go ahead and braid it. Um, it's inward, outwards, inward, outwards. I'll leave a braiding tutorial down below if y'all don't know how to braid. But it's super easy and it's not fringe braiding or box braids. And right here I finished it but it decided to come undone and then I just used a scrunchie to tie it off so yeah here's what this hairstyle looks like this is seriously giving me a uh, Britney Spears vibes and I love this so let's move on to the next hairstyle Hairstyle number five. 
You want to take all your hair up like you're putting it up in a ponytail. And now put your hair elastic or scrunchie and then tie it one time around normally. And then uh, put the bun through um, and do like a croissant shaped bun. Now I wanted to do it twice because I did not like how it looked first of all. So let me teach you a second way. Here I'm twisting it one direction. You can do it any direction that you want to. And then go ahead and taking your elastic of your choice and then tying it off twice. Um, I did twice so it's nice and secure. And I'm sorry if you can hear the wind. It's just really windy. Here I'm taking bobby pins to make sure those hairs that couldn't go through the bun um, stayed up instead of down so I wouldn't get on the way. And here I'm just fixing any like little flyaways that I don't want. And here's the final product. Hairstyle number six. Go ahead and uh, take your uh, hair and divide it into two. And here I'm just taking my fingers and combing it. Um, since basically if you go out anywhere, you probably won't have a hairbrush but I'm just using my fingers and then tying it off with a scrunchie. I did it twice so it's nice and secure. And then here's what half a pigtail looks like. Mine's really messy. Here I just brushed it and I made it a little bit smooth with my fingers and I did the exact same thing on the other side so it's nice and even. Here's what this hairstyle should look like. Hairstyle number seven. Here I have half of the pigtails down because I wanted uh, space buns for this. And then I just twisted it one direction only. And then until um, I kept twisting it until it was the shape of a bun. And then I put a scrunchie on top of that. Put my scrunchie one time and I didn't put it twice. And then here I just used my fingers to make it a little bit bigger and more messier. And I did the exact same thing to the other side. Here's what the final uh, product looks like. And if you have baby hair on the back of your head, go ahead and just bobby pin it down. Hairstyle number eight. So for this next hairstyle, it's just straightening up your hair. If you have curly hair or if you want your hair even straighter, I'm just using my straightening straightener and running it through my hair with my fingers. I like don't care. And here I'm having a dance party for one because I'm fil filming this by myself. And then I just did the exact same thing to the other side. I just took my hairbrush to make it a little bit smoother and a little bit tangled free. And here is the final product. Hairstyle number nine. Go ahead and take your straightener and your set of hair. Go ahead and run it all the way to the tips. And then before you end it, go ahead and curl it one direction. Um, and then go ahead and hold it. Hold it down for a while and then it should look like this 
sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work and i go ahead and try it again but here's a tip if you guys want to do this make sure you do this method with a small uh, strand of hair Here I'm taking like about this big of section and doing the exact same thing, curling it until I get all the way to my roots and then holding it for about a couple seconds, having a little dance party and then go ahead and bring it down. If somehow that did not work, go ahead and wrap it with a wooden pencil make sure it's wood otherwise if it's plastic then it's gonna melt go ahead and take your straightener and just like wrap it or straighten it out and then after a while I just did it for about 10 seconds ish maybe less maybe more um, go ahead and take it out of the pencil and it should look like this Disclaimer, this does take like an hour, so make sure you have a good TV show running. Next, I just use my fingers to make it a little bit less curly and make it how I like it. Make sure you use your fingers, not a hairbrush, because if you use a hairbrush, then it makes it even fluffier. But here's how you uh, curl your hair without using a curler if you don't have a curly wand and if you only have a straightener. I just realized that I missed kind of the back, but it's okay. We only care about the front, sis. that video um if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you didn't that's okay you can give it a thumbs down and make sure you subscribe to my channel um but i feel like i want to do another hairstyle video and if you guys want to see that comment that, that down below um i had a lot of fun doing this now i figured out a new uh, curling ha your hair method with just a straightener because the other one did not work although this does take me like an hour but I like it. It does look a little bit crazy, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do, man. And I actually got the entire back. So yeah, like the back of my head because whenever I did the first method of curling my hair with a straightener, I could not uh, reach the back. But with this one, the second method that I learned from TikTok, I got the back. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, Make sure you tell me what videos you would like to see, and I'll see you guys next time. Good damn, bye.